Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We are about to start Rise of the Rune Lords Adventure Deck 1. Scenario 1. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no. It says Scenario 1 because it's from Adventure Deck 1. Scenario 2. Local Heroes. We dealt with the attack on Sandpoint just barely getting to Rip Nugget and Stickfoot in time. We beat them once, but they got away. We barely got to them a second time. So, everyone in town wants to thank the heroes of Sandpoint for saving them from the recent Goblin Raid, but you have a feeling that darker times are on the horizon. Explore the town, visit its most significant landmarks, and gather your allies. You'll be needing them. Our locations, the general store, the woods, the waterfront, the academy, and the rusty dragon. The rusty dragon we had last time, if you fail to check to acquire an ally, you can put that ally in the bottom of the deck. Succeed at a charisma diplomacy six check to close. You can recharge an ally from your discard pile when you do close it. The woods, undefeated monsters other than villains or henchmen are banished. It's not bad. There are a lot of monsters here. Four monsters in the woods, but if you do not defeat them, they are banished. Normally, they go back into the deck, so that's okay. Wisdom Survival 6 check to close. No effect when permanently closed. Four monsters also at the waterfront. When playing a weapon, subtract one from each die rolled. After your exploration, you may discard two cards to explore again. Summon a defeated bandit henchman again, same as we had last time. On closing all characters at this location, discard a card. The Academy. Not much boons, or not much banes here, but there are five spells at the Academy. On your first expiration each turn, if you encounter anything other than a spell, after the exploration, you may explore again. Intelligence or Arcane 6 check to close. Shuffle a spell from your discard pile into your deck when permanently closed, or on closing, you may do that. And the General Store. Lots of goodies here. A lot of boons here as well. Two monsters. We got two weapons, an armor, three items, and an ally. If during the exploration you encounter anything other than an armor, item, or weapon, after the exploration you may reveal a card to explore again, which is simple. Show the card, explore again. Banish the card from your hand to close. On closing, add 1d6 random items to this location without looking at them, then automatically acquire the top card. So you close this location, and then it has a bunch more items that you can, if you would like, stay there to continue to try to acquire. After the last uh, scenario, we all got a skill feat. Amiri took it in D12. Or, in D12, Jesus. In her strength. So her melee is D12 plus 3. Kira took it in wisdom. Her divine is D12 plus 3. And Sione took it in charisma. So her arcane diplomacy are both D12 plus 3. Everyone took it in their main stat. So, um, pretty standard. Straightforward for that. Um, let's see here. So, uh, we have reset our hands. Um, oh, local heroes. During this scenario, if you acquire an ally, yeah. you may immediately attempt to close your location. If you fail to acquire an ally, discard the top card of the Blessings deck. To win this scenario, close all locations. So, there is no villain for this scenario. There is one ally, one additional ally per location. And once you get an ally, you can attempt to close the location. And we just have to close everything to do it. So this will be really good for Sioni because she has very high charisma and diplomacy, which is great. Almost every ally that you can acquire has a, a charisma or diplomacy option. So Sioni is going to be big here in this one. She's going to she's going to help us out a lot. So uh, we have reset our hands. We have chosen our starting locations. Let us shuffle up our cards. As they say, shuffle up and deal. We still are four cards. We got our crow, a short sword. We got our leather armor, and a long spear. Kira. Kira has a blessing of the gods. Wooden shield. Another blessing of the gods. Another blessing of the gods. And a crow. I believe she has five. Yes, five. And Sioni has Blessing of the Gods, Blessing of the Gods, Codex. Not to be confused with the Felicia Day character from uh, the Guild. Nerds know what I'm talking about. Lightning Touch, a Troubadour, and Arcane Armor. Six, right? 
Yes, indeedy. Okay. Just like last time, Amiri is going to go first for us. Let us zoom in on that board just a little bit. Whoops. Sorry about that. Come on. Set up the location a little bit better. There we go. All right. Yeah. So, is the guild still on Netflix? I believe it is. Almost I positive it is. I want the Palatine pack because the jet tag has an awesome skin. Yes, it is still on Netflix. Alrighty, so, Amiri. Oh, we need to set up our Blessings deck. Yeah, same. So, cut. All right, and there's our Blessings deck. So, Amiri is first oh, up. Uh, yeah. Blessing of the Gods. All right. Undefeated Monsters. Okay. Cape of Escape. Stealth or Dexterity 8, which we cannot get. Another great start. Bury this card to move or to yeah. evade an encounter. We're not going to waste a Blessing on that. Amiri has no need to escape encounters because she is awesome. I mean, other people could use it, but we're okay. Um, excuse me. We're going to save our crow for right now. We're not going to explore again. Kira. Mercenary, really? Difficulty of defeat is increased by one. Awesome. Yeah. So... 11. So this is an 11. She has no weapons. No damage spells. So it's her melee. Oh no, it's strength. We can't even use melee. Hey, D6. Uh, should, I, um, should I buy a thousand platinum on my other account and then just give it to my to this account? Yeah, because I have enough for a thousand platinum. Whoa. Um. So I'm just looking something up here. I'm almost positive yeah, I flat wine. that if you don't have a weapon, it's just strength. It's not melee. Sure. Most monsters and spirits call for a combat check. Weapons and many other cards that can be used during well, a combat generally tell you yeah, what skill to use when the attempt a combat attack. If you don't play such a card, use your strength count. or melee skill. So nice. So we can use our melee skill. So we do get that plus two bonus. Excellent. 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 Okay. Good thing I looked that up. So, uh, this is melee. So D6 plus two. We played a blessing, so we're going to get another D6. There you go. This is not easy. I don't know if we want to play another blessing. We need an 11, and right now we're rolling 2D6 plus 2, so max is 14. We need an 11, which means, means we need a minimum of 9 on the dice, 4 and 5 or 6 and 3 or higher. We need a six with a three or higher, and a four with a five or higher, or a five with a four or higher. What do you think? I think red and ten and see you guys are still there. Crap! It was my dice. All right, so we played that. It was. Nope. Two d six plus two. Oh, we were waiting, we were thinking to see if we Definitely played another blessing. Yeah. No. I'm going to play another blessing because she's got a shield.
Nice. 9, 10, 11. Got him. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to end the turn there. And it is Sioni's turn. Archer. Charisma right. 6. D12 plus 3. Okay. Yeah. No. Not right now. Not right now? No, because you've got two more days. I heard you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Whoops. Missed the box. Got it. Four plus three is seven. Okay, so we acquired an ally, which means we can attempt to close the location, which for here is a charisma or diplomacy six check. No, 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 no. No, she's fine. You want help? Stay right here. Okay. This one. Roll in the box. No, you don't need to sit. Just stand there. You're fine. Roll in the box. No, in the box. You missed. Uh, if we fail to acquire an ally. So we did not fail to acquire an ally, but we failed to close the location because we needed a six and we got a four because baby rant can't roll. Right? I know. Okay. No, no, don't move the box. Oh, I'm sorry. See? Don't, no, don't, don't play with it. See, we got it right there. I need to keep it right there. So. Leave it alone. Okay. Now don't touch it. Leave it alone. All right. I'll tell you when I need you to roll again, okay? Don't touch it. I know. Leave it alone or you're going to have to leave. Okay? Sit back. I don't want you bumping it. Okay. Um. All right. Be careful. Watch out for the cord. Can you step over it? Okay. All right. We got to help her today. Nope. Careful. Nope, don't touch. Okay. Yeah, you're only going to see the top of her head, but... Yeah, let's see the eyes. There, see? Can you wave? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep, baby rant, heart. Red gave you a heart. Don't play with them. I want to them. No. Okay, you count them. Okay, so... Um, what do we want? Okay, so... We got to discard... Let's just discard the archer. We don't need that ally. All right, Amiri's turn. Oh, a blessing of Ayamide. All right, what do we got here? A skeleton. Oh, we got a skeleton. Uh, has Slashner piercing the difficulty? I know. Slashner piercing is increased by three. What's up? I was just seeing where Abby was. She's in here. Yep. Thank you for checking. Okay. Um, slashing or piercing. That's both of them. Okay. Let's use the long spear. So... Uh, D12 plus D8 plus 3, um, and it's going to be an 11. Okay, these two. Roll them both in there. In the box. All right, got him. 19, that's a 22. Good roll. 12 and a 7. She almost maxed them both up. Awesome. Yep, awesome. Okay, um... All right, that'll be the end of her turn. And Kira. Uh, Sage. They're all girls. All right, Wisdom 7 or Charisma Diplomacy 6. Ooh, Wisdom is a D12 plus 1. Okay. We need a 7. Uh, let's play a Blessing. And here, Evs. Uh, these two. Roll them. Yep, in the box. Need to get seven or higher. Higher. Higher, that's, yep, higher's good. Got it. Dude. I know, you got an 18. Your rolls are good. Okay, so we get the sage. 
Now we can attempt to close. Oh, banish a card from your hand. Um, intelligence or wisdom check. That's not bad. Her wisdom's good. Um, you know what? Let's banish a blessing of the gods. That's okay. Because even if we don't... Okay. And this one is closed. And let's see here. What do we got? Oh. Thieves tools. Oh, a great sword. Oh, man, we wanted that for Amiri. Man, that's a good weapon. Jeez. Melee plus 2d6. That's d12 plus 2d6 plus 3. Oh. Can discard this to add your unmodified strength die. That's another d12. Holy crap, that's an amazing one. Amulet of Mighty Fists. Elven chain shirt, occultist, light crossbow. These just oh man, there are so many good things in there that we're not gonna get. Ally, monster, item, armor, item, weapon. Okay. Items. Hold on. Armor. Stop. Wrong. Okay. Oops. I'm going to pile. All right. Honestly, at one d six random items. Okay, this one. Two. Yay! Okay. Watch out. Random items. So. Two items. All right. We might be able to stay there for a little bit. Okay. This is closed. Well done. Okay. Um, pff, I'm eating your hair. Oh. There we go. All right, coming through. Reset, hey, and we're good. No, no, I'm not. Okay. Now it is Sione's turn. Damn. Wand of Force Missile. Intelligence or Arcane 7. D12 plus 3. This one. Uh, it's a 10. Uh, we get it. Pretty good. Bury this to roll 44 with arcane and force traits. Succeed in arcane 8 to recharge. And that automa is that an arcane item? It is, so that automatically recharges. That's a good one for us. Good job. All right, let's play. Hopefully the microphone isn't like getting all scratchy, like rubbing up against the back of our head. I do, so we're going to get rid of one of those, and we're going to search again. A dagger, dex or ranged 3. Uh, this one. You know what number that is? Uh, it's the one after four. It's the one after four. That's right. That's a five. We got it. We got the sword. Good job. Okay. Um, let's discard the troubadour. Okay. And go again. Oh, all right. We got to fight this guy. Warlord. Uh, he is a ten. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know. Hold on. All right. Let's do lightning touch against him. D12 plus 2D4 plus 3. Okay, hold on. Watch out. Put it down. Let me see. Nope, we don't want that one. We want this one. And this one. Wait. D12 plus 2D4 plus this one. Plus this one. Plus 3 of these. Um, wait. Plus 3 and then minus 3 because we're rolling 3 dice. That's fine. So we actually don't need that. Uh, we need a 10. All right. Roll those. So, whoop, not that one. So this is straight up, because we're not adding the three, because we got to add three and then subtract three. So this is straight up, and we need a 10. Uh, two, four, eight. Did not get them. We take two damage. Um, but we've got this. Reduce combat damage dealt to you by two. That's good, and this automatically recharges. So we don't take any damage. We use our arcane armor to prevent that. Uh, lightning touch also recharges. Uh, hold on. There we go. It's not blazing the monster machines. There we go. Okay. Um, he goes back in there, and we shuffle him up. Okay. Amiri's turn. Oh, a bugbear. A bugbear, yeah. Find a feat of berry an item or weapon of your choice. Combat 10. Okay, so we want D12 plus D8 plus 3. We want this one and that one plus 3. He's a 
Oops. Ten. Okay. Roll them bones. That's an eight. Oh, we got it. We don't even need to roll that one because you got a max one. That's 11. Oh, nice. Maxed. Max damage. Woohoo. That was a 23. Okay. Bugbear's dead. Good job. Um, We're winning. We are winning, huh? Uh, Did we really let them die? The, the one the We're going to be done. Oh, we forgot to recharge this hand. Whoops. Two. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to be done. It is Kira's turn. I think Kira's going to look for this item. We're going to see what's here. We got a couple turns. We She closed up pretty quick. A crowbar. That's lame. Strength. D6. Uh, this one. A square one. Do that one. We need a three. Okay. Good. Three, four, five, or six. Uh, three. A three? Okay, that'll work. What number's that? That is a four. Good job. We get a crowbar. Nice. We get a crowbar. Yay. Add one die to your non-combat strength check to defeat a barrier with either the lock or obstacle trait. You may additionally discard this card to add another die. Okay, cool. Whoops. Whoopsie. We don't know what that is. But let's just... Um, let's discard the sage and explore again and get that last item. Oh, the amulet of mighty fists. Arca Wisdom, Divine Four, so D12 plus three, this one. Got it, oh, D12 plus three, it was a Divine Four, we got, we get it regardless, because we, even if we roll a one, plus three is a four. Reveal this card to add 1D4 with the magic trait to your combat check. You may not play a spell with the attack or weapon on the, this check, so. Oh, you waving? Okay. Why are you putting your hand up? Okay. Uh, five. Okay, we're gonna end our turn there. Um, can you say hi, Tenancy? Are oh, you just gonna wave to Tenancy? Okay. All right. Um, Sione's turn right here. Ooh, Frost Ray. Yeah, baby. Arcane six. All right, Abs. D12 plus three. We need six. This one. We need three or higher. Hey, stop. We need three or more. Roll it. We want the spell. This is a good spell. Oh, it's a one! We don't get it! No! No! You failed! You have failed me, child! For the last time! Okay, sorry. <laughs> don't yell in my ear, she said. You yell all the time. Yeah, that's true. Um, we're going to discard the standard bearer. Oops. Explore again. Oh, a sage. All right. Charisma Diplomacy 6. This one. Plus 3. We need 3 more. Let's go. All right, let's, ro let's just roll. Nope. You got to land it in the box. Roll it again. Got it. 11. Okay. So we get her, which is good. Now, do it again. To close the location. We need a D12 plus three. We need a, a six to get this. So three or higher. Let's go. Okay. Got it. All right. We got it that time. Um, on closing, you may recharge an ally from your discard pile. So let's recharge the troubadour. Stop hitting my microphone, sweetie. No, just this is awesome. Alright. Um, whoops. Alright, we're going for 10 more rounds. Okay, and this now closes. We have closed two locations in nine rounds. Or, well, nine turns. Three rounds so far. We've closed two locations. Excellent. Uh, oh, there's a burglar there. Still a Ah, darn it. You know what, let me do this, actually. Save camera one. Okay. Uh, what was this? Ooh, a goblin raid. Everyone would have gotten a goblin raider. Good thing we closed that, Abs. Stop it. Um, Shalalu Andasana, again. We had her last scenario. Ooh, and another bugbear. And a warlord. Wow, we had a warlord and a bugbear coming up next. There's three... 
Oh no, we didn't defeat one of them. That's right. We didn't defeat the warlord, so he got put back in there. So, okay. Um, oh, the bugbear was in the woods. That's right. We hadn't gotten anything. Okay. Um, let's see here. What's up next? Oh no. What are you oh knowing about tenancy? Um. Okay, so that was Sioni's turn. We've taken nine turns. Okay. It is now Amiri's turn. Blessing of the gods. Oh, we still got a goblin raid. No! Everyone gets a goblin raider. Let's shuffle all these decks. Should we just put a bunch of stuff back? Uh, goblin raider. Oh, man. Abs. Nope, we don't need him. Nope, come on, stop it. A goblin raider. And we need another goblin raider. Oh, this is terrible. we got to fight lots of things. All right, she's going to fight first. Let's do, let's use our wand of force missile. Abs, let's do this. Okay, we need this one, and this one, and this one, and we need one more. Um, 44, we need an 8. Okay, uh, so we're going to use our Wand of Force Missile. All of those. All four of those. Yep. Okay, roll them all. Let's get some good numbers. All right. That's one, one, two, and four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Watch out, Kate. All right, that is enough to beat that goblin. Good job. Rough. Okay. All right, uh, next, Amiri. Uh-oh, hey. Stop playing with those. Okay, watch out. Um, this one goes over there. Okay. All right, so that's an arcane item. So because we are Sioni, that automatically recharges. Whoops. No, you're not going to build with the dice. Okay, we got more fights to do. Uh, this one, we're going to use... You know, we're going to use our long spear again. So this one... And this one, plus three. Okay, we need an eight. Let's do it. We should be fine. We need an eight. It's a D12 plus. Eight. Stop. What? You You're trying to see yourself on the camera, you goofball princess. All right, princess, go to the other room. Oh, Katie's Elsa. Oh. All right, ten and a three. We beat that goblin. Um, need to beat that goblin. Now we need to beat that goblin. That's right. And we got a quarter staff. Strength melee plus so melee plus D6. Hold on. Nope. We need this one. We need that one. Plus two. All right. Do it. All the goblins. Oh, yeah. Luckily, we had enough to attack spells and weapons and stuff. So I think we're. All right. All right, six and two is an eight, plus another two is exactly a ten. Boy, did she call that one or what? All right, good job. Goblin. Good job, yep, we got the goblin. We got all the goblins. Okay, um, whew, that was a rough round, Abs. All right, let's, uh, Kira's turn. Um, Kira's going to move to the academy. Stop. Seriously? The Sandpoint Devil, again. Charisma Diplomacy 6, or Intelligence Arcane 7. Charisma 6, nope, okay. So we're going to play that, and we need this one, and this one. So we're going to play a Blessing, because we want to get this so we can try and close this location. It's going to suck if we close it, because there's so many spells here. But whatever, we'll win. Okay, go. We need 6 or higher, let's do it. 50-50. Careful. Higher? All right. One and a one. Boy, you rolled the worst possible thing you could, sweetie. Okay. So we don't get him. Unfortunately, now, we failed to acquire an ally. We discard the top card of the Blessings deck as well. Okay. Uh, we're going to end her turn. And reset. Then it's Sioni's turn. Sioni's going to move here to the waterfront. Oh my God. And what do we got? Oh, a battered chest. 
Dex disable 10 or strength melee 8, which... Well, she's not good at either of them. But 1d4 random items from the box to your hand if we defeat this. Hey, keep your hand out of there. No, Stop moving the box. That. We have to fight that. No, we have to try and open it. Let's see. Okay. Um, discard this to add one die to your check to acquire a boon. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can recharge that. Intelligence or knowledge 10? No. But we're going to discard that to add one die and dex disable 10. Strength melee 8. Nope. Okay. So we're going to go to dexterity. So we're going to add a die. So this one and this one. All right. Let's do it. We need 10. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, your rolls are terrible right now, sweetie. What happened? You were doing really good. Bears. No, that's my water bottle. No, it's not. Oh, whatever. Okay, we're going to end Sione's turn there. That was awful. We could have played a blessing as well for another de dice, but God, I thought we'd get that. Okay. Um, Amiri. Blessing of Lamash to... Sage's Journal. Reveal this card to add 1d4 to your check to defeat a henchman or a villain. Intelligence or knowledge. Oh boy, we can't get this because Amiri's kind of dumb. It's an 8. We need a d Nah, we're not even going to make the check. We needed an 8 and we only have a d4. Even if we played a Blessing, and we'd, we'd need an 8 on 2d4, so it's not worth it. Um, let's... We're going to discard our crow, because we sat on the crow the whole time last game. So we're going to discard the crow to explore again. Dog slicer again. All right. D12 plus three. This one. Uh, we need a seven. Wait, wait. It's a dead. No, we don't want a three. We won't get it if we have a three. We need more than a four, okay? Seven. Rolled exactly the Let me angle the camera down. There we go. Okay. Um, so we get this sword, which we got last time, but we're like, ah, oh, we don't want that. Okay, we're going to end the turn. And it is Kira's turn. She's going to put the blessing of the gods. Acid arrow. That's arcane, though, not divine. Yeah. Intelligence arcane four. D6. Hey, stop. Yeah. Oops. Um, okay, it's intelligence or for D6, the square one. That's a D12. <laughs> Alright, roll it. It's in your hand. Roll it. We need higher than four. Let's see it. Okay. All right, I think Dad's going to have to take over rolling because you're not doing so hot lately, sweetie. No. No. <laughs> um, let's Fine. discard our crow. Uh, I suppose I could have discarded that to add to the roll. Whoops, no, it's not Sione's turn. It's Kira's turn. Blast stone, intelligence, craft four. Our int is a D6. Boy, Dad's not good either. I sit down, I run my mouth, and then I fail as well. You run your mouth. I know I was running my mouth. <laughs> okay, Sione's turn. We are halfway through the Blessings deck. Ooh, an Acolyte. This is a great ally. Charisma, Diplomacy, Arcane, Divine. Oh, we can use... Okay, they're the same. D12 plus 3. Uh... We need a six. Okay. Uh, D12. That one. Let's do it. We want this girl. Wait. Just because. Let. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Don't roll yet. Um, we are going to play a blessing. Here, roll two of them. We almost shouldn't. The only way we fail is if she, is if she rolls double ones. That's an acolyte. We want her. Yeah, only only way we fail is if we roll double ones. Nope. Eight and a one, though. It would have been a one on the black dice, but we added the blue one in, so we got it. All right. So that Acolyte's really good. She actually adds to an Arcane or Divine check, which is really good. 
recharge it to add 1d6 to your check to recharge a card, which, I mean, we free recharges on her. What? Yep. Two. Okay, so, uh, we can now attempt to close this location, because we just acquired an ally. So, summon and defeat a bandit henchman. Um, there we go. There's our bandit. I know. Okay. Uh, before the encounter, recharge a card of your choice from your hand. Let us recharge. Let's recharge our dagger. Okay. Combat 8. We're going to use our force missile. Watch out. Stop. Okay. We need to put three of these in here. And it's D12 plus 2D4. And one more. All right, and this is going to automatically recharge, so we'll just recharge it right we got now. Down. Wait a minute. Uh, recharge just to add 1d4 to your arcane check. Here, roll that one too. So we're going to play the Acolyte on this, and then we'll recharge this spell that automatically recharges. Uh, oops. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. I, I didn't see what it was. Hold on. Let's look at the video. Uh, seven plus four plus four. Okay, good. I caught it on video before she picked them all up. So seven four. That's a fifteen. Oh yeah. Yep. You smoked it. Okay. So he is defeated. Hold on. Uh, he is defeated. This closes on closing all location. All characters at this location discard a card. So we're gonna discard our bracers of protection. No, we're not gonna. Stop, you goofball. Okay. Um, oops. We have closed three locations. All right. Ooh, we had a rat swarm on the bottom. And a cultist. Ooh. Another battered chest in there. Stop. Hey, leave my phone alone. Oh. No, it's not. A night watch. Oh, someone just went live on Periscope. Stop. Leave my phone alone. Oh, uh, Geronimo, shooting near me? What the heck? Um, Geronimo? I want to see. Nope. Want to see oh my gosh, Geronimo, holy crap. Oh, okay, really? um, what was these? Oh, these are goggles, what? eyes of the eagle. Add with perception check. It's an that? item. That was awesome. Uh, that's a soldier. Uh, Ooh, a Grindelo. Nope, we don't have to fight it. And a skeleton. We had a skeleton going to the next boy. We had four monsters there. Yeah, we avoided all the monsters. Okay, thank you, sweetie. Okay, let's reset our hand. We got a guard, another sage, a blast stone, and a blessing of Iamide. All right. Uh, it is Amiri's turn. She's going to search. Uh, blessing of Gorum. Two dice to a combat strength check. Oh, it's a pit trap! We got another pit trap. Wisdom, Perception 7, or Dex, Acrobatics 8. Boy, she had the pit trap last time. Wisdom 6. Okay. Um, we're going to discard Blessing of the Gods here for a dice. Dex, Acrobatics 8. Wisdom, Perception 7. Okay, get two square ones. This one, and get another square one. Okay. Um, okay. Roll. Oops. We need to... Okay. Uh, roll those. And we need... Seven. Seven and more. Yep, seven and more. That's right. Let's do it. Seven fast and then more. Well, you can't get a seven on one of them, but go for it. Roll them. Got it. That's a nine. That's a four and a five. That's nine altogether. Okay, so we got that trap. Good job. We survived the trap, sweetie. Okay. Okay, uh, we're going to end our turn. And sit down. I can't see. It is Kira's turn. Okay. Ooh, force missile. Intelligence, arcane four. D6. Okay, get a square one. Roll that one. We need a four. Um, wait. Help! Stuck. Okay, never mind. 
Uh... Help, I'm falling and I can't get up. Okay, roll it. No, just one square. <laughs> okay. Are you laughing at your brother? Five! Alright, we got it. Okay, watch out. We got the spell. Yay! Um, Yay. Okay, we're gonna have to discard an item though to finish our turn. Um, we're gonna discard, I think, the amulet of mighty fists, but that might be one that we're gonna hang on to. To your combat check. Play a spell with the attack trader weapon on this check. Huh. I don't know. Okay, whoops. Stop. Stop bumping the table. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright, Sioni's turn. Sioni's gonna move here. We're gonna advance the deck. And... Collapsed ceiling. Okay, so we did not get a spell. So we can explore again. Oh, no! Collapsed ceiling. This is terrible. So this is a 9. Difficulty is increased by 1. If you fail the check def to defeat by four or more, you are dealt one combat damage that may not be reduced. If undefeated, leave this barrier face up on the location deck. Characters at this location encounter this barrier as their first exploration each turn and may not move or be moved while this barrier is face up on the location deck. So this stays until we defeat it. Dex Acrobatics Con Fort 8. Dex is 8. Um, okay, so I think we're going to have to play our Blessing of Iamide, unfortunately, to add a, a die to the check. Um, so it'll be a dex. We need 2d8. Okay, stop. We need, Wait, I, I know, this one, and we need this one. Roll them. Roll them bones. That's what we say, right? All right, Whew, we got past that collapsed ceiling. The rocks didn't get us. Now then I can. Okay, um, so that's... Okay, so Sione can actually explore again because it was her first explosion she did not get a spell. Ooh, it's an ally, sweet. A guide, Charisma Diplomacy 6. D12 plus 3. All right, here, uh, that one. That is four plus three is a seven. Okay, excellent. So we get the guide and we can now close the location. Succeed at an intelligence or arcane six check. D12 plus three, this one again. In the box. All right, six plus three is a nine. So that closes this location. On closing, you may shuffle a spell from your discard pile into your deck. I don't think we have any in there. I don't think we have any spells in our discard pile. No, all of her spells recharge automatically, so, yeah. Okay. That's right. All right, so that closes. Ooh, we had a plague zombie there. We had fine traps. Oh, uh, that's two dice to defeat a barrier. That would have been helpful just a little bit ago. Uh, lightning touch, oof. Okay. Oh, and fire sneeze! It's a goblin spell. The fire sneeze. For your combat check, discard this card to roll your arcane or divine plus 1d12 with fire. My arcane is a d12 plus 3, so that'd be 2d12 plus 3. Alive, discard to add 1d4 with a fire trait to a combat check using a weapon. If you do not have arcane or divine, banish this card. The goblin... Pick it up. Oh, you got it? All right, yeah. stop playing. Careful. Yeah, yeah. This is such a cool spell. The Goblin Wizarding Song. Peppered oil up the nose. In with all the snot it goes. When you see a horse's knees, roast them right with burning sneeze. <laughs> oh, that would have been such a great spell to get. I wanted the fire sneeze. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. We've closed four locations, and we still have 11 turns left. And only, Oh, only three to go. We're going to do it. We're going to win, Abs. What are you doing? Okay, that was Sione's turn. Amiri. 
gets a goblin dog. If undefeated. Okay, so combat nine. 12 plus eight plus three. Hold on. Hey. We're going to attack it, but I need to find the dice first, and I can't see past you. You big head. Uh, D12, this one. Plus that one. D8 plus three. Okay. Okay. No, keep those in there. Stop. Look, you just moved it. Okay. okay. We got to we gotta keep it there so everyone can see when we roll. Okay. D12 plus D8 plus three. Ah! <laughs> you knocked it down. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay. So, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 3 is 10. All right. So, we defeated that one. Uh, 7 plus... Wait. Watch out. This 3 is 10. Big head like daddy. Ha hush you. Okay. So, we defeated that goblin dog. Um, and that's all he can do, or she can do. Jeez. Okay, Kira's turn. Kira's gonna come over here. And explore. Does anyone need really need healing? Nah, we're fine. We only got two cards left. Oh! Poog of Zarin Gel! Look, Abby, look, what's on his head? A ribbit? That's a frog. Frogs say ribbit, though. Recharge this card to add three with a fire trait to a combat check. Wow. Bury to charge 1d4 random cards from your discard pile. Discard to explore your location. Ooh, this is a good one. All right. Oh, let's let's sing Poog's song. Poog say Zarin Gel is the best. He helped burn things and heal the rest. Zarin Gel's favor makes Poog blessed. And Poog also stab you with knife if you are make fun of how he isn't good of riding animals. <laughs> what a great song. That's such a great song. Charisma, diplomacy, or divine seven. All right, Kira can get him because she's got divine. D12 plus three. Uh, she's got... All right, Sione's going to play a, a Blessing of the Gods for this. So 2d12 plus 3. All right, uh, this. Need those ones. Plus 3, and we need a 7. Oh, got it. Big time. All right, so we get Poog. We got Poog. And we can now attempt to close. Succeeded a Wisdom or Survival 6 check. Wisdom, d12 plus 3. Right there for the close to win the game. Hey, we did it. Throw your arms up in the air, Abs, like you just don't care. Man, this was, that was a good yeah! Time. High fives! We win! Okay. So, what was the last card? Oh, the last card was a werewolf. Why am I not wearing my... Jeez. I, I could... All right. That one's done. Yay! We win! I... With Poog of Zarangel and a ribbit on our head. Yay! <laughs> Okay, we won. Good job, Abby. Whoa, careful, careful, careful. Okay, so, and we still had nine turns left. No, not yet. Not yet. All right, so, each character draws a random ally from the box. All right, so, we'll go Amiri first. Father Xantus. Ooh, that's really good. We'll actually trade that one. Uh, probably to, to Kira, but that's a good one. Recharge this card to add 1d4 to your divine check. Bury this card to recharge 1d4 plus random cards from your discard pile. So he can heal or aid in the divine check. He's really, really good for, um, for Kira. Next one. A guide. Add 1d10 to your survival check or discard to explore your location. And a snake! Abby, look at that! What do snakes say? That's right, they go... Th Recharge at 1d10 to your stealth check, or discard at 1d4 to your melee combat check. That's not bad. How many allies does she get? She gets two. That's not terrible. 
So, okay, stop rolling for a minute. So, all right, so we're all, okay, leave the box alone. All righty, all right, all right. So, uh, we're going to reset our hand. We've got some, we got to go through the standard, do the reset thing. Um, let's put the blessings decks back. So we have completed local heroes scenario two. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's awesome. So uh, we are going to end the video here. We're going to distribute the allies. We're going to reset our hands, and uh, we'll get ready for scenario number three. So thank you everybody for watching on YouTube. You can click the link below that's on screen, on stream, on screen. To, there's nothing to click to jump directly to the third video I want to thank little baby rant wave for helping us oh she's got dice in her hands all right for helping us with this and uh, we will see you guys all during scenario number three which is going to be trouble in sandpoint thanks for watching